In Creo Parametric 10.0, there are numerous enhancements to the user interface and user experience. In this video, we will cover four of them. First off, you now have navigation lines in the model tree. For example, if you take a look at my model tree, you can see these lines that help you visualize the hierarchy of your different objects. And this I find very convenient in two different situations. First off, if you are doing multi-body modeling and you have a lot of features contributing to the bodies, it's easy to visualize which body those features belong to. Second, let's go to an assembly model. And here in the assembly, I can see once again for my design items folder, what different quilts I have and the bodies. Let me collapse a few of these so you can see how we can visualize the different features and placement folder and other different objects that belong to our different parts and sub assemblies within our top level assembly. To turn off the display of your navigation tree lines, go to File, Options, options window settings and then underneath the navigation tree settings you have the checkbox for show navigation tree lines if you make changes to this this is automatically stored in your ui file next let's take a look at the enhancements to the file open dialog box i will use the open icon from my quick access toolbar Here you can see file open it looks like how you are used to. But if we go to the views drop down menu and then change to the details radio button, there is now a column for the model type. And here I can see that we have different drawings, we have our different parts, we have some assemblies in here, some formats and drawings. Speaking of parts, assemblies and drawings, you now have some quick access buttons in the lower right hand corner. For example, if I know that I want assemblies, I can turn assemblies on. Or if I'm just looking for a part, I can turn on parts and turn off assemblies. Or maybe I am just looking for drawings. Once again, I can just choose what I am capable of seeing or turn off all of the quick access buttons for just seeing all the different contents of the folder. Speaking of folders, if you take a look in your common folders, there's now a recent choice. And this is like the different selections that you have from the file drop down menu for your recently viewed items. Hey, these are the things that I was working on recently so I could easily access them again. And the last thing to show you in the file open dialog box, if you select an item, you can preview it. But now when you preview the object, it's going to appear in a horizontal layout as opposed to the vertical layout. It just makes more efficient use of the computer screen. Okay, let me cancel out of here for the third thing to show you. Let's talk about retrieving a drawing, especially large drawings. If I go to retrieve a large drawing, for example, I'll go to file open and go to my working directory. Let me use my quick access button. Here I have a very large drawing. If I click on the open button, this can take a lot of time to retrieve. And one of the things that was causing slower retrieval in earlier versions of Creo Parametric was generating the thumbnails for the different sheet tabs that you have at the bottom of the screen. So for example, you can see I have these different sheets. Let's say I want to preview sheet five. I can hover my mouse over it and it shows me the preview of that different sheet. These previews, these different thumbnails are generated when you retrieve the drawing. And so that can slow down retrieval. In order to fix that, if you go to your configuration options, I'll go to file options and then configuration editor. Let's use the find button. And the one that I'm looking for, I know that it's got the word thumbnails in the name. So let me type in thumbnails and then find now. And let me make the dialog box a little bit wider. The first option that you see in here is a new option in Creo Parametric 10.0. Create DRW sheet thumbnails. By default, it is set to yes. And what that means is that it will generate the thumbnail when you hover over the different sheet tabs as opposed to retrieving it. If you go to the drop down list for the different values, the previous behavior was on retrieval. In other words, that's what was slowing down the retrieval of your drawings because it was generating all those different thumbnails when it was pulling the drawing up. But you can change it to no so that you don't have any thumbnails whatsoever. 
All right, let me close out of here and cancel. And for the last thing that I am going to show you, let me go to a part model from this assembly. I'm just going to select it and then use open from the mini toolbar. So let's say that I want to create a local group of features. Well, I will select the different features that I want. And then you always have the command for creating a local group from the mini toolbar, even if you have just one feature selected. But let's say I go to create a local group. Here they are grouped together, and it just says local group. If you created a local group in Creo 9.0 or, or, or earlier, you might have noticed that it would say group local group, and they just got rid of that redundant label group in front of the name of the local group. So there you have it, four different enhancements to the user interface and user experience in Creo Parametric 10.0.